Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for attending the Heat Press for Profit Live. My name is Ryan Rafalki. I'm a market account manager for the southern states, including Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, and Arkansas. And I'm here today in the Mentor Ohio showroom where we have our heat presses. So I um, apologize if you see me sweating because it's a little bit hot in here. I've got a um, Hotronics uh, Fusion right behind me heated up, and I also have a Hotronics Auto Open Clam directly behind me as well. I'll be showing you those in a little bit here. So today we are gonna be talking about uh, screen printed transfers start to finish. And throughout the presentation, I definitely welcome you to answer any questions that you have. We do have um, people behind the scenes. Uh, my co-partner uh, Liz is here. She's gonna be answering questions. And um, if you have any questions outside of this, uh, please email us at info at transfer express.com and we'll be sure to get back with you right away. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen here to show you a PowerPoint that I have. Just a moment, okay, great. So again, um, thank you so much for joining Heat Press for Profit Live. This is screen printed transfer start to finish. So, um, You know, we, we ask ourselves, what is a screen printed transfer? So simply, it is the exact same thing that a screen printer uses on a directly when they print onto a shirt. The only difference is it's printed onto a piece of transfer paper instead, and then it's partially cured through a dryer. So they're known as plastisol heat transfers, and they're printed in reverse on transfer paper. So um, when you face them down, uh, it's a, basically a mirror image. You put it against a shirt. You make sure you have the right time, temperature, and pressure on your heat press. And um, usually about four seconds later, that's our goof group. I'll show you in a little bit. It just peels right off hot. And in some cases, that might peel off cold. We have different uh, settings for different transfers. But if you take our, our um, printed shirts that you use with our transfers and you compare them to a directly screen printed shirt, there's virtually no difference at all. Actually, oftentimes ours is a softer ink. I just pressed one this morning that I'm wearing today. It took me four seconds, really simple. All right, so a lot of our customers are always asking, what should I use and when's it a good time to use that specific, uh, that specific media? So we have, through our, our sister company stalls, we do specialize in CAD cut heat transfer vinyl. We also have, um, through both Transfer Express and Stalls, our CAD prints. Um, they're the full color. And then we have our Plastisol screen printed transfers from Transfer Express. And then we have our Ultra Color, which is our hybrid screen printed transfer. So that's full color options. So really this question um, is gonna depend on your quantities. So we have this little grid here that came out a couple of years ago, really, really helpful. You'll see here on the left, you've got your quantity. So if I'm just doing, you know, maybe five, one color, simple designs, it might be better to go with our CAD cut heat transfer vinyl in the blue, the blue there. Um, however, if I'm going with 35 to 50, it would probably be more cost effective to go with our Plastisol screen printed transfers from Transfer Express if it's a one to two color artwork. Now, when you start getting into the three, fours, and five colors, that's when you're going to transition, again, based on quantity. So if I have, you know, 10, I might be more cost effective to go with the CAD prints full color transfers. Um, or if I'm going to start going in the 20 to 25, 30, 50 range, definitely going to be more cost effective to be with the ultra color, uh, full color screen printed transfers. So, and the nice thing about those is we have two different price points with the ultra color. So you can either order single images already cut out, ready to go, minimum quantity of 20, or you can order the full transfer sheets and those sheets are 11 and a half by 18 inches. So ultimately you could send us in a gang sheet that's already created, or you can create one in our design center that I'll be showing in a little bit, and we can print a gang sheet and you can cut those out yourself. That can be really cost effective to where you start talking about how much does it cost per image. Also, if you are uh, curious on what to use when at transferexpress.com, if you go to our, um, our help field with a little magnifying glass, uh, you can just type in transfer selector tool. It will literally walk you through and ask you a series of questions, what your garment is, how many colors, et cetera. And then it'll actually tell you the most recommended transfer that we would recommend for your order. 
And again, you know, when I ask myself, what types of jobs should I use for screen print? So number one is, you know, rule of thumb is usually if it's a quantity of 35 or greater, the artwork is one to two colors. And the detail in the artwork has small cavities or, you know, little tiny nuances and types of distressing that might be very difficult to try to cut out with a vinyl cutter or go through stalls and have stalls cut it for you. Um, so again, it's going to depend on your artwork. Um, but, you know, number four says anything else. So there's really a wide range of, you know, different scenarios here. So I was just talking to a customer yesterday, literally, who's a screen printer. And I'm, I'm imagining we have some screen printers in the, in the audience today. Um, also, we probably have a lot of people that use screen printers for larger jobs. Well, this particular customer told me he's spending about 16 to 17 hours per day right now with the amount of work he has. So um, a lot of customers are finding that screen printers in particular are very, very, very overworked right now. Um, a lot of their orders are behind two to three weeks. So I don't know if you've run into that. If you have, definitely comment, let us know, because we hear that all the time. But in this customer scenario, he said to me, hey, um, what could you do to help me? And I said, well, why don't we try to find a way to complement what you're doing? Because he can print the full front of the shirts, no problem. He's got the two big screen print presses. He can run them through, have them done in a matter of a couple hours and put them through his dryer, be done. So what we came up with, we went into our Easy View designer and he just simply does a, an American flag that's printed in black. Um, and what we did is we were able to create a gang sheet with our clip art and um, it ultimately, we could fit nine of those American flags because they're only four and a half by three inches. So we can fit those on one of the transfer sheets. It's 11 and a half by 14. Um, he, he says right now he's printing 350 of those per week. So when I did the math, it came out to 18,200 on a yearly basis. So we'll say 18,000 on a year that, and he's putting them on a sleeve with most of his garments. When we did the math, we were able to do nine per sheet. We came out to, um, if he said, if he ordered, see, he's going to be ordering large quantity for his scenario. So a thousand sheets would give him 9,000 flags, basically. Um, 76 cents per sheet is what it came out with, with that high quantity. We were able to get that down to um, eight cents per flag. And he was just blown away. He's like, you have no idea how much time this is going to save me because now I can focus on the other things that I do. So again, the anything else category could be something to complement what you're doing now. If you have the screen print equipment, if you have a direct to garment machine, if you have a vinyl cutter, if you have a spangle machine, if you have all this different equipment, a white toner printer, keep that in mind. If you are a decorator, what can I do to complement and save me time? Time is money, right? Free up your Sundays from weeding a uh, huge order, right? Contact stalls, have them do, um, you know, stalls.com. They'll do the, the vinyl for you and weed it and cut it too. So that's an option as well. But again, there's so many different scenarios out there, but ultimately we want to save you time and money. That's our one of, of our biggest focuses. So with Transfer Express, we have quite a bit of transfers that we offer. Our number one is our goof group. Now this is going to be for mostly for your cottons, uh, cotton poly blends. It is a higher heat, but we do have a new formula that came out in January where you can have a lower heat as well with a little bit longer dwell time. So you could either go 365 for five seconds. That's what I have my press on here behind me. I'll show you in a little bit. Or you can bump it down to 325 and do that for 10 to 15 seconds. And uh, you know that might be for more of your heat sensitive fabrics. Like if it has more poly than cotton in the garment, I would recommend those settings. Our elastoprints, prints, those are really, really great for your tri-blends, for your 100% polys, for your moisture wicking garments. Uh, those go on at 300 degrees for 10 to 12 seconds, medium to firm pressure. Our hot split, that's a super, super soft ink. Uh, it's similar to the goof proof, but it doesn't have the same adhesive on the back and the same opacity. So uh, it's, it's really nice for the Bella canvas. And if you're looking for a super soft feel, but I must tell you, if anybody has, has not tried the new goof proof, um, this is one of my first shirts that I've pressed with the new Goof Proof since quarantine and everything. So it feels really super soft. And I can tell you, I'm, I'm excited about it because it's not thick, it's not heavy, 
And I'm sure this is going to last 50 washes, 50 dries, no problem. You'll probably last a lot longer than that. And then, of course, we have our pearl prints, which is more of a specialty ink that has um, a little bit of a, a glimmer to it. So one of my friends always referred to it as kind of like a, uh, one of those 1980s muscle cars that has the, the glittery you know, sheen to it inside the ink. That's a pearl print. So I've got a lot of customers that love it for um, you know, decorative things, bridal parties. Um, you know, I had a customer that does, uh, she does a lot of bridal shows. And so she actually puts the pearl prints on um, not silk, but it's like a polyester that feels like silk um, robes for the bridesmaids. And it comes out beautifully every time. We have our new reflective ink, which is amazing because it has little tiny glass beads inside of it to make it very, very reflective. Now, it doesn't necessarily meet the, the, uh, the ANSI, the ANSI criteria. If you do have a customer that's looking for something like the police departments or fire departments, we would recommend to go to our sister company stalls and get the 3M reflective heat transfer vinyl. And we can actually, um, you know, you could go to stalls.com and learn more about that because that is going to meet the ANSI requirements for your police and fire. But if you have like a security department that doesn't necessarily have to have that, but still very, very shiny, our reflective ink is amazing. We have our puff ink. So it literally actually puffs off the fabric once you press it. Run your fingers across it, it almost feels kind of like a foam type substance, about an eighth of an inch off the fabric, maybe a sixteenth off the, the fabric. Super nice, um, but it, that comes in white or black, so you can't get the multicolors on that, but you can have that with multicolors as well. Of course, we have our famous glow in the dark. That's really popular around Halloween time. Got a lot of customers that use the glow for, for different events like birthday parties, the bowling alleys that light up at night, um, theme parks where they're going through with black lights and things like that, aquariums with black lights, looks really, really cool. All right, so one of our most prized possessions for our customers that we offer for free to you as a Transfer Express customer is our Easy View Online Designer. I can tell you I started here about four years ago and we have just, almost quadrupled the content inside of that designer since I've been here in four years. It's an organic thing. We're constantly adding more clip arts and customizable layouts and text and fonts and all kinds of cool stuff. So you can actually upload your own artwork into the designer um, or you can create you know, your, your own by using our templates. And right now we have, I want to say it's around 7,500. I might be wrong. I might be closer to 8,000 customizable templates. The clip art selection is, I want to say it's over 12,000 now. I'd be safe to say maybe even close to 15,000. I don't have an exact number, but again, it just keeps growing and growing and growing. The great thing about the clip arts now is with our full color details, we are partners with Great Dane Graphics. Uh, for those of you today that are going to be joining uh, Dane Clements' um, presentation. Um, he actually is going to be talking about some of his designs as well, but he actually provided us a lot of his clip arts inside of our designer. So if you're looking for full color, there's tons and tons of stuff in there. Um, you know, you can create a gang sheet. And what a gang sheet is basically is you take multiple images, you gang them on a sheet. Simple as that. Whatever you can fit, we'll be, we'll be able to print. You're able to align and adjust your images identical to how they're going to be printed. You can even do a proof or a mock-up. So if you have a customer that wants to see it on the shirt, you can simply go to our apparel share button, which I'll show you in a little bit. And you're able to then show your customer what it's going to look like on the shirt before you even print it. You can email them a proof. They can come back to you and say, yes, I like it. Or if they don't, no problem. You can go back in the designer and just make some minor changes so they are happy with it. And again, you can email, you can print that out, you can send a PDF. Special effects, we've got tons. So if you're looking to add a special effect, um, we've got all kinds of things you can do. You can put drop shadows on your text. You can distress it. Uh, we have a new patterns page that came out about a year ago. So if you're looking for paisley patterns or checkerboard patterns in your text, um, you know, there's a psychedelic ones with little swirls. It's, it's just, it's a really, really cool thing. If you haven't seen our patterns, definitely check out the effects to see what we have. And also, when you have time, go into our design center. At the upper left corner, there are training videos. There's 23 of them. I counted them last night. 
Um, spend about an hour, go through, watch the videos, become an expert, or contact us and we'll make you an expert. So uh, with, the, with that being said, the design center, so I'm gonna actually go in, I'm gonna escape out of this PowerPoint real quick, so I apologize, you're gonna see my stream and I'm gonna show you what the designer looks like here. All right. Just a second here. All right, so when you go to transferexpress.com, um, if you're not already a customer, you will have the option of registering here on the left-hand side, uh, or you can type in your email address or your uh, unique dealer identification number. So mine is DSR1. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. It already saves my password. Once I'm in, I've got all kinds of things I can do, but for the sake of this uh, presentation, we're gonna go straight into our design center. So it's located right up here towards the top. Just click on the design center. And automatically it pulls up this little box that says, get started. So what's nice about this is I've got my, I can go right to my Easy Prints layouts. Again, we've got over 7,000 customizable layouts. I can go right to my clip art if I'm trying to just start from scratch. I can add my own artwork here. I can resume my last session or I can open a save job. And also what's nice is it shows you this recently used artwork right here towards the bottom to see if I, you know, what I was working on the last time. So I'm gonna be showing you something I did for a friend of mine. That's also a customer, but she's more of a crafter. She's not making profit yet, but she actually asked me to help with the design for her uh, beer Olympics party that she had um, now, I wasn't actually a, um, an athlete in the Beer Olympics, but I was a spectator on the sidelines. I did come home with a prize, a can cooler. Now, this can cooler did hold a couple um, beers over the weekend, so I definitely highly recommend you to keep in mind the can coolers for, your, for more profitability. So again, my friend came to me, she said, you know, what, what can you do? Can you just do a really quick design? All I need is just a really quick design. So I went into our Easy Prints layouts, and I was like, you know, I, I kind of like the trophy idea. So why don't we go with trophy? So I just typed in the word trophy. And it pulled up all these different options here. So as you see, I can scroll down. I've got this little blue bar. I can keep loading more. It loads more and more and more. But I was like, you know, I like this one here on the upper right. That looks kind of cool. So I just clicked on that. I like the font mainly. Um, so I did not like this little background here. So I just went ahead and um, as soon as you pull it up, it's already sized for you at 10, 10 and a half by 11 basically, but I can change the sizing and everything, shrink it down, um, go as small as I want, as big as I want. I can rotate it all the way around. There's all these little fancy tools you can use. And again, um, when you have time, go to the upper left where it says training videos. In there, you will find every, you'll answer to every question you're gonna have about how to use EasyView. If you need help though, our customer service team is here from Monday through Friday from eight to six. We have a live chat feature on our website, Monday through Friday, eight to six Eastern time. You can email info at transferexpress.com. We will make you an expert on this software. It's super easy to use. So what I did, I went ahead and I just, I liked it, but I didn't like the little, the ribbons and the stars. Cause again, this is for a beer Olympics, right? So didn't need that. So I went up here to the object button and I, Whoops, actually, I just went in here and I, I clicked, at first I did is I clicked on the, um, the ribbons and you can kind of move them over and then you can hit your delete button, just get rid of them. And I didn't like this, um, this Compton thing here. So I went ahead and clicked on that, deleted it. Didn't like the, the 16th, got rid of that, but I did like the sports and the banquet font, which is the review. So I just clicked on the sports button and I hit control D to duplicate it. Or you can go up here to, you can highlight your, your area that you like and you go to object and you can hit uh, duplicate there as well. Okay, so I just went ahead and I typed in. Um, so what's nice too is you have a couple options here. So you can either double click on the text that you want to edit and customize, or you can come over here to the left where it says edit and you can type it in over there. So for my friend, uh, she said, just put her last name in. And I did get her permission before this presentation to show you this. So, all right, her last name is Wells. 
and she wanted it plural. So it's her husband and her having this party. So, okay. So she said, Hey, that looks great. I just want that, but don't want the trophy. So again, click on the trophy, delete it. I wanted to add some stuff. I could add a bunch of stuff. So she liked, she liked the way that this looked. Uh, but again, I'm getting rid of sports and banquet. I'm changing that to the beer Olympics. So come over here type in beer, or again, I can double click on the word and I can just go ahead and change it there. I can spell Olympics today. There we go. Enter or hit the done button. And she wanted it to be in white. So again, once you're, once you're done kind of setting up what you like, um, you can change the colors. I'll show you that in a moment, but she did want some beer bottles or beer. She said either beer bottles or maybe some beer glasses. So I went up here to our upper left into add clip art. And I show, I just said, you know what? I could choose from all these different options. I got food and beverage here. I've got animals, all these different categories here on the left. Or you can simply type in what you're looking for, like I did earlier. So I just typed in the word beer and saw what's going to pull up. As you can see, there's tons and tons of things with beer. I can keep loading more of the bottom bar there. And as I mentioned earlier with, with Great Dane Graphics, uploading us customized colored logos, you know, there's this one here that actually is a picture of a glass of beer. Um, so again, really cool, especially for St. Patrick's Day, different parties, different events, whatever you might be. I'm sure there's tons of things you could do with these. The cooler's kind of cool, got a little bartender there. But again, she wanted simple. She wanted really fast and easy. So I just said, how about this one here? This X4A-51. Now, as you notice, all of these little clip arts, they have numbers. So for those of you who have invested in the Transfer Express Marketing Kit, congratulations. You are going to definitely make your money back off that $49 investment. Uh, in that kit, you actually have the customized idea book with your business name. You flip through that, you're going to find these types of clip arts are in there. So it's really nice to have that customized idea book that comes inside that kit because now you can have your customer actually flip through the book and they can see what clip arts they like. We also have an online version. If you go to easyprints.com, there's an online version of the idea book there. So again, for the sake of this, she just wanted real simple beer, beer glasses. So I chose this one here. And as you notice, it is in front of the graphic or the text, right? So that doesn't look good. I want it behind. So how do I do that? So you go up here to the top where it says order and I put it in the back. So now I've got my beer in the back and you know size it appropriately however I want. Once I like what I see, I can just go to the upper left of the image and, and just right click or left click rather and scroll down and it highlights the whole, the whole graphic. Come up here to the object bar and I can hit group. So now everything's grouped together so I can kind of move it around, right? If I want to align it, I can hit the align button and I can center things, right? So what I did here though, for the sake of this is, um, you know, she told me all she wanted to do was to get some simple designs. She wanted to go ahead and have you know these about eight by six because she put them on the backs of the shirts. So I went ahead and I hit Control D and duplicated the graphic and put them side by side to gang them. She said, you know what? I'm going to be printing these koozies as well, and I'm doing a left chest on the front of the shirt. So this graphic went on the back, the bigger one, the eight by six or six by seven, whatever it came out to. Um, and then the smaller ones went on the left chest, and then she had a print area for the koozie. So if you're in business, this is a great tool, right? So your customer comes to you for an idea. They say, hey, I just want something for a family party, like a Beer Olympics event. Uh, maybe not a family party, but again, a Beer Olympics event. So um, you can gang the sheets and save money, right? And you can also upsell them. Hey, why not add some can coolers? It's summertime, right? Everybody's drinking cold beverages. So control D, duplicate. And you can scroll down and shrink down your image, right? And fill up your sheet. Now I could do some shirt tags here if I wanted to. We do have custom clip art for that. So if I go to clip art and I type in, um, I type in the word label or tag, for example. Whoops, 
label, for example, it'll pull up custom shirt tags, things like that. So we've got all kinds. Actually, this isn't a bad, this isn't a good example here. I think it's just shirt tags. Now that wasn't in either. Okay, so it's in here though. I know we have the shirt tags, so I'm kind of getting off topic. But again, um, we could go in and we can add all kinds of things. So uh, again, if I control D, I can duplicate my image, fill up my entire sheet the way that I want. And I'm ready to basically, once I have it ready, um, you know, I can select my color and I can get ready to, to send this out to be printed. So if I hit the control A button, it will select the entire image or I can go up to ob object and group everything. And I can come over here on the left and change my color. She wanted white, so we chose white. And just for sake of showing you, I did on the right-hand side, we've got our, um, our print method. So we were going with screen print. If you drop down, we've got digital CAD prints. That would be for the, um, we do have some, some, some decals that we sell and also our CAD prints that are really good for full color for if you're on a uh, budget. Non-apparel items, again, would be the, uh, the stickers uh, and our full color would be our ultra color soft. And um, that's something we could talk about later. If you are looking for our full color options, we do have a lot of training videos about our ultra color online too. So we chose screen print, transfer type. We went with the most popular one because she's using a crafting press. Unfortunately, um, she's just getting started and she hasn't had time or she, she really doesn't have the, um, the, the business yet. So she did not invest in the Hotronics press. So um, I was leery. I said, you know, I'm, I'm hoping these are going to be okay for you and they're going to work, but they worked out beautifully even with her crafting press. So she chose Goofproof. Goofproof is great if you have a crafting press too, because it's one of our most forgiving inks. Um, but again, make sure that your temperature is okay on your heat press. Now, if you're, if you're concerned about that, spend a couple dollars and invest in an infrared temperature readout to where you can measure the four corners of your heat press and you can measure the center to make sure it's accurate. Because believe it or not, we did a video a couple of years. Um, if you go to our website and you type in Hotronics versus import, there's a video that Josh Ellsworth did, our vice president, and um, we actually cut in half our Hotronics heat press and we cut in half the one we got from Amazon to show you what's on the inside. Um, ours, you know, is was three quarters inch thick. Theirs was a quarter inch thick. So ours was you know, a lot thicker. Um, we have heat, the heated elements inside, cast inside the steel. Uh, but I, what actually happened was when we did the temperature readout, the one we got from Amazon was actually off by 90 degrees. So uh, you're gonna have some issues with application. It's not gonna stick necessarily as good or it could, it could stick and then your customer washes it and it comes off. So temperature is, is probably the most crucial thing you need on your heat press. And we went down here to fabric. We just did 100% cotton tees for this party. Cut apart is if you are having us cut these images out. Now, um, she did not choose that, but if you do, it's 10 cents a cut. So uh, depending upon how many you can gang, you know, it could be you know, 60 cents or 50 cents more per page. So it depends on what you want to spend. And again, time, it could save you a lot of time if we cut it for you. So number of colors, we chose white. Apparel color, I just did black just to show on the screen. And then image quantity. So here we literally have, you know, this is considered like one image because we have it the gang sheet. So she just went ahead and ordered 20 for her party. And they came out to $3.56 per sheet, right? But uh, I'll show you the finished gang sheet. She actually got, uh, I want to say she had about six images. She had the two fronts and she was able to fit a little bit more on them. Actually, she may even had more than that, but literally came out to about 50, 55 cents per image for her party. So $71.20 here on the lower to show you that's not a bad deal for, uh, for getting all these images. Um, and as I had mentioned earlier, we were going to talk a little about the apparel share. So um, let's say, for example, that um, you know, I wanted to show this to my customer. Um, what I could do is I could go up here to, um, now I have this saved in my open job or I'm sorry, I have got it saved here for in our jobs. All right, here it is. So let's pretend that my customer wanted to see just the Beer Olympics on the front of a shirt. So I can go down here, the lower right where it says apparel share. 
And I can select a model here on the left. And I can kind of scale it to size to kind of show them a general idea. We have different colors I can make the apparel. And then I can either up at the top, I, I can put a watermark. So I did Ryan tees for my, for my make-believe t-shirt business that I someday might have. Um, I can download the file. I can email it to them. I can print it out. But what's really convenient for you here on the right, um, if you are looking for a one-stop shop, stalls and Transfer Express do sell apparel and we do give you wholesale prices. So um, if, if my friend had wanted to purchase some you know, extra large t-shirts, you could type, you know, type those in what she wanted and you can do different apparel selections here. And you see it has the apparel number. So this is just a 500L, I think it's Gildan. And I could do so many larges, you know, she had 20 people there. So, you know, so many mediums. And so now um, it's adding that to my price. So again, not a bad deal for, for 10 shirts, you know, to add that to your price. And then ultimately you can go back to the designer here. And, you know, when you are ready, in my situation, I do have it saved as a gang sheet here, the Beer Olympics. So I can go ahead and go to done and it will allow me to then place my order. It'll take me right to my cart. It'll show you, show you how the gang sheet is. It'll let you go through all the ins and outs. And um, that simple, you just add it right to your cart. Ryan, quick question. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Monique is asking, would I be able to upload our own PNG image as well into the design center? Great question, Monique, absolutely. So you can go right here to the add artwork button and you can um, go ahead and add what you want in there, right? And it's gonna pull up this little button that says a PDF file containing vector art is preferred for screen printing and will yield the best results. So I always tell my customers, we will print pretty much basically anything that you provide to us. We accept 30 some file types. So whatever you have, PDF, PNG, JPEG, However, um, you're going to get out what comes into the system. So we have really high technology. If it's vectorized, it's going to be a better print for you. So we prefer it to be vectorized, but we'll work with you. And you just choose your file. It'll pull whatever you have, and you can just upload it right there. So great question. But yeah, so it's really simple. You just go ahead and use the design center for, you know, all kinds of designs. Um, you know, then I actually have some pictures here that she shared with me, my friend. So this was the actual gang sheet that she had done. So she was able to do two six by eights for again, these went on the backs of the shirts and she did one, two, three, four, five of the, um, you know, the can coolers in the left chest. So that was really, really cool. And then she allowed me to share this picture. So this is actually what she did at her party, which I thought was an awesome idea. I wanted to share with everybody. So she had different teams all in different colors. And everybody that came to the party got, you know, depending upon the team they were, they got their matching uh, koozie as well as the matching shirt. Um, and everybody loved them. I mean, everybody was so happy with this. Again, it took me, what, maybe less than five minutes here to go into Easy View and come up with this design. Um, and it, it's, it cost her less than $100. It was like $70 for all these transfers to do an entire party. And the nice thing about the gang sheet is now she has all of these for next year as well because she had five per sheet. So, you know, if you think about that, you know, 50 cents an image is what it, what it came out to, you know, for $70. Um, but now she has, she has enough for next year too. I mean, um, especially for the smaller prints. She might have to go back in and reorder, you know, just the larger print, but, you know, it's going to save her money. Um, so you can, you know, pretty much anything you can think of as far as a gang sheet's concerned, if you can fit it on there, you can fit it on there. So here's a picture, too, of her, the back of the shirt. And I was a little bit skeptical when I saw the gang sheet. I thought, ah, it's going to be kind of small. No, it looked perfect. That little six by eight that she ganged was absolutely perfect for her party. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of easy view here. Go back to our PowerPoint. Um, but I'm sure you're going to have some questions about the Easy View Designer. I mean, there's a lot to learn. This is just simply an overview for the sake of showing you what we have. Um, you know, like I said earlier, go to our training videos, right? The upper left-hand corner. 
uh, design with easy view made easy. We've got the let's get started, how to find a layout, creating and saving for later. Um, you want to show your customer on a shirt. How much is it going to cost? I'm ready to place my order. All these different, you know, even I'm ready to be an easy view expert. So this is when you get a little bit more into it. Centering the artwork, adding patterns and distress, add a list of names. Your customer wants signatures. You need a template for that. Every question that you've thought of, we should have it in here. And if we don't, let us know. Um, we're always eager to hear from you. We want to know if there's something else that you want us to do. And with the clip arts, you know, again, we have over 12,000 now. If there's something that you don't find, let us know. Um, had a customer that was going to a bluegrass festival and he was getting ready to make some shirts. He said, hey, man, can you go ahead and, um, you know, are there any bluegrass instruments in there? And at the time, I didn't think there were, but then we had like, I think we had a banjo at the time. He's like, can I get a washboard and a jug? I said, I, I guess, you know, we can definitely try. You know, we didn't have it at the time. So what we did is, you know, when we were working in the office, uh, we had this big whiteboard where you could write on the, to the art team what the customer wants. So today you can simply email us or you can call us and tell us what you want. We'll be happy to get that over to the art team. So within a week, um, our art team had uploaded uh, artwork for, uh, for the jug he needed for his bluegrass festival and the washboard. Cost him nothing to simply speak up, tell us what you want. We, we meet weekly to get to take customer suggestions and add more. So it's an organic thing. We want you to share your feedback. We want you to show us what you're doing. Join our uh, Easy Prints Dealers Facebook page. Um, share what you've done in there. A uh, customer just posted last night a really cool one um, about what she did with a full color design. And um, it came out awesome. And she used Easy View for that full color. So again, you can do a lot with that program. All right, so I'm going to get out of the Transfer Express page and go back to my um, uh, the slideshow here. And I apologize that you're seeing all this here. All right, so going back here, we got out of the designer. So now we're going to uh, talk about our goof proof transfer. I'm going to go actually press one of these for you too. So goof proof, again, that's what we did here for the Beer Olympics. Uh, Easy, easy, super forgiving for the crafters out there. If you just have an Amazon press you bought for $150, again, test the heat, but it should work. Cricut cutter, the Cricut Easy Press, if it's like that big iron thing, we have a video where we did some experimentation with that. That will work, but not going to be recommended. I'm going to be honest with you if you are looking to make um, a really good impression on your customers. I can't stress enough the importance of the investment. Now we do sell a crafting press for only $310. It is a workhorse. Um, Ryan, they can't see you. I think oh, no? you're still okay. sharing your screen. Okay, not a problem here. Well, actually that, that's, okay. that's okay. So um, I'll come back here, but I'm gonna show you really quick our goof proof here. So one second. All right, can you see me now? Perfect. Perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and show goof proof. As I was saying, goof proof is, um, our most popular, most forgiving. So um, I have the press right behind me. It's set up for 365 degrees. We do have a setting for goof proof at 325 for more heat sensitive garments, but I'm printing on cotton right now. Uh, we do recommend to not use pillows uh, with our screen printed transfer. So heat transfer vinyl, there are situations where they have the little the heat pillows. Those are cool, you can use those. We also do not recommend cover sheets. So if you're doing Teflon cover sheets, um, we don't recommend it because it will absorb that heat. So with Goof Proof, you don't need anything other than your heat press and the transfer. So as simple as that, I'm gonna stand up now. Hopefully you can see me, let me know if you can't. All right, so for those of you who have invested in the Easy Prints marketing kit, we have this transfer guide that comes with it. I am going to be pressing um, the one that's on page 10 that says full throttle. So it's this one right here. Uh, so if you want to press along, you're more than welcome. I'm going to be just using a 100% cotton shirt from Hanes. It's just a uh, Hanes Perfect. And with my heat press here, I've got the auto clam. It allows me, now this is on a stand with wheels. So it's on our caddy stand. 
Uh, I'm in the showroom, so of course it's nice. I wheeled it from the other end of the, the room earlier today. Uh, but the best thing about this press is the threadability. Okay, so for those of you who do not know what threadability is, we have interchangeable lower platens, right? So I can literally take my platen off of the press. I can put it back on. We have all kinds of platens for this machine. So that I'm using right now the 16 by 20. So it allows me to separate the front and the back like I'm putting it on an ironing board. What that does, it allows me the optimal pressure, right? So I'm not gonna have any of the fabric bunching up. If I'm using a hoodie, I don't have to worry about that bunching up. So I can just go ahead and separate the front and the back by sliding it on. All right, I pull a little bit forward here, make sure that my neck is right in the front. You can't see it because unfortunately I can't move my computer over here. So I do apologize for the lack of my videographer, I'm the only one with my laptop. So but thank you for your understanding. And again, we have the goof proof transfer. Okay. So as I was saying earlier, it is a mirror image. So you can kind of see it a little bit through the shirt, right? Or through the, through the paper. On the back of the goof proof, we have the grid marks. This allows for really nice centering. So I could take the transfer and I can kind of fold it at the top here, pinch it, that way I know right where the center of my transfer is, right? So I'm gonna take this over to the shirt on the press. Before I do anything though, I'm going to pre-press for just a couple seconds to take out the moisture from the humidity. We had a lot of rain right now, really humid out there. So press it down. I've got it set for just about four seconds to pre-press, it'll automatically pop up. I've got the perfect work location now because it's all nice and flat. Take my transfer, I'm gonna center it. And then what I like to do is just literally three fingers down is what I do. Now, some customers like templates, they like to use a ruler, whatever you're comfortable with, you know, go ahead and use that. I just do three fingers from the neck, literally press down for five seconds. I have this set at a level seven, which is 70 pounds per square inch. So that's medium, medium to firm pressure. And this is a hot peel. So you see it just automatically popped up. Peel it like a Band-Aid. As you can see, the ink has transferred from the carrier sheet to the shirt. And I'll show you that right now, how the shirt looks. All right. So I have my full throttle shirt. It was done in literally five seconds. Amazing. So I'm just gonna put this over here. And now over on this side, I have my Hotronics Fusion. Okay, so if you can see this one here, it has the nice, wonderful uh, heat-free workspace. So the drawer that pulls out here, and again, I've got the little quick, uh, quick slip. I can pull out my platen if I want to can change it to a six by 10 if I'm doing shirt sleeves. I can change it to our seven inch round if I wanna thread a uh, book bag on there or a backpack. So I got a shoe platen if I wanna stamp some shoes. We've got about 15 different platens to choose from. So again, I can pull this out. Now this one I'm doing 100% polyester. It's a sport tech, okay? And I'm gonna be using our Elastoprint. And that's again for your performance wear, your moisture wicker. Moisture wicking. Okay, so I'm taking this over. Ryan, quick question from yes. Patricia. Yeah. So what do you recommend we do for heat presses that don't thread? Well, you can just lay it down, right? You can just lay it down normally, but definitely would recommend um, just to do your best to make sure there's not a lot of fabric bunching up. So flatten it out as best you can. But the most important part you can do with that is to pre-press it for at least five seconds at the application temperature to take out any moisture or any wrinkles and it will flatten it down. So you certainly can do it without it. Um, if you have a really thick fabric and you want to elevate your print location, you can put mouse pads inside the shirt as well to again, kind of get rid of that, that barrier. It's kind of a, your own self threading. I, I have customers too that actually go and they buy themselves a really thin piece of board from Home Depot, Lowe's Menards. They bevel the edges and they make their own where they slide it in the shirt. Again, it's up to you. You could use non-corrugated cardboard as well. That will work as well. 
Good question though. So again, I have my shirt threaded. I'm gonna slide it on. I'm gonna do a five second pre-press. Take out, now I got this one set for 300 degrees, okay? Automatically pops up. Or this one doesn't pop up on it. Sorry, I pop it up myself. Okay. And I am using, for those of you who have invested in the marketing kit, and if you have not yet, you still have time. There's specials today. Okay, I'm using the transfer. It's the Elastoprint. It's this one right here. Okay. It's on page 54 of your idea book. It says, Our House Perkins Vikings. Now putting this on a 100% polyester. So I've got my, the, the transfer, you can see the mirror image. And again, you can kind of see the through the, through the paper. Putting it down, just going with the three finger roll from the neck down. And I always have my neck down a little bit so the, the edge is, is uh, not touching. Line it up, slide it in, pull down. I got this one set for 12 seconds and uh, we only have a few few minutes left here. So do people have questions that we could answer? Cause I know Liz is here as well. Yes, let me scroll through the chat real quick. I think Rich is excited that we can press on shoes. <laughs> yes, yes, Rich. Um, the print locations with the Hotronics press are pretty amazing. I mean. The shoe platen, we actually have, um, we have, we're partner, we're actually, we have a lot of customers that are um, some big retailers. And uh, a couple of years ago, I worked with Converse and they actually did a parade where they were stamping um, Chuck Taylor's, the canvas shoes uh, for a pride parade. And we had a bunch of rainbows and things that we were able to put on their shoes, came out beautifully and they loved them. So um, the shoe platens are great also. You could stamp uh, customized names on football cleats, soccer cleats, basketball shoes, um, and Stalls and Transfer Express has a ton, a ton of different uh, products that will go on the, the different uh, the different shoes. So definitely, it's a really awesome opportunity. Now, with um, with this particular transfer, this is our elastic print. I see, I, I still have it stuck to the shirt. Reason why is this is a cold peel. Okay, so cold peel, you want to dissipate the heat. You can kind of you can set it aside as you're doing uh, doing different printing. Um, some customers like to hold this up against a uh, window to kind of dissipate the heat. Just make sure it's cold to the touch. And then I'm using my Fusion. I can kind of set my shirt on it like this. And I can just do my cold peel. All right. Peels beautifully. So again, we have our 100% polyester shirt, um, moisture wicking, did it for 300 uh, degrees, 12 seconds for our Elasti. And we had our goof proof. Again, this was for uh, five seconds at 365. And we have, basically I tell my customers, we have a transfer for every single fabric there is known except for rubber or waterproof coating. Uh, and there are some hacks out there with using denatured alcohol. On, on waterproof coating, but we typically don't recommend it to decorate waterproof. But, um, and that's pretty much my presentation today. We wanna to open it up for questions. We have just a couple minutes before the end of this presentation. So does anybody have any additional questions for Liz or myself? Brittany is asking, is there a layout in the designer for shoes or a placement guide? We do have a placement guide. If you go to transferexpress.com and you type in design sizes in our help field, uh, there will be a, a, a link that pulls up with different size guide, uh, design size guidelines. Now we have them for sleeves and things like that. Shoes though, we don't have a, a recommendation for shoes. It's really going to be small though. So it depends on the shoe. I mean, because there's so many different shoes out there. So um Usually it's going to be like a two by two. It's going to be a small design. You know, it depends on where you're putting the print location and making sure also um, that you have a shoe platen to be able to get that pressure so you can press that canvas if you're doing Chuck Taylors, for example. Good question, though. Thank you, Ryan. And Thank you. 
Mary Bell is asking, will the Fusion IQ ever be an auto open feature? <laughs> well, we do have an auto open feature and that's right behind me, but you have to get the Fusion, the Air Fusion, okay? So that's this guy right here. You can't really see him using the back, but he has two buttons you push down, he push, he comes down and after the timer goes up, this one automatically opens and swings away. Um, but this is like the, the, the granddaddy, the Rolls Royce, in the corner, I have the uh, the really nice, the, the dual air fusion that I would personally love to own. Um, but if I was getting started right now myself, uh, doing some things for beer Olympics and whatnot, I personally, I love the auto open clam. That's always been my favorite. Uh, it's a blue collar machine. It's got the time, temperature, pressure. But again, the fusion, you can't beat it. Um, but if you're looking for an auto open, auto clam is a really good deal. But good question. So I think that's time, Ryan. So if you want to go ahead and yes. do your closing remarks. All right. Well, thank you so much, Liz. And thank you everybody for attending today. I definitely appreciate your, um, you know, you guys spending the time with us. Um, and if you haven't already, I can highly recommend to invest in the 2021 Transfer Express Marketing Kit. It comes with a lot of stuff. Uh, probably the one that's worth its weight in gold is the Color Selector. I can tell you it's so many customers I talk to that say that they have, this has saved them such a, a headache because looking at the computer screen, you can't tell the color. This color selector is the actual plastisol color you can match to your garment and take away the guesswork. So, you know, at the very least buy this, I think they're $20, $25 plus 15 to ship. So for 35, 40 bucks, you're better off just buying the whole kit and getting everything that it comes with the idea book, et cetera. So really good deal today. Definitely recommend that. If you have any questions, please email us at info at transferexpress.com. Uh, you can email me, Ryan Rafalke. So it's R-Y-A-N dot R-A-F-A-L-K-E at transferexpress.com. I'm happy to work with you too. And um, we do have market account managers all over the country now. Um, I manage the Southeastern states. Liz manages Ohio and Pennsylvania. And there goes my, my light. I apologize. Um, but bottom line is we're here to help you guys out and here to help you grow. And thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the classes and um, happy pressing. We appreciate your business.